G'day, it's Pete here and I'm back again for another weekly free instant tournament. To get in, you go up to Solitaire Bridge, then down to weekly free. Give it a shot, we can compare and uh, see how it can go. So, board number one, I got a triple four one thirteen count. Pass, pass to me. Uh, with four four in the minors, uh, you can open either suit. Um, it really depends on partnership. Um, but when you've got a triple four one with a uh, singleton, I like to open diamonds. In general, I do like to open diamonds normally, but uh, when you got a triple four one, if you open a diamond and the partner bids a spade, you have to work out what follow up you want to do. Do you want to show this as balanced or do you want to show this as an unbalanced hand with like diamonds and clubs? And I usually go down the path of showing an unbalanced hand. Hey Carlo, how's it going? One spade, two spades, which is just a Q raise, invitational or better hand with a fit. Uh, I don't have anywhere to go, so we'll bid three diamonds. And partner double, penalty double. Beautiful. Happy to see that. So uh, hopefully we can beat three spades. Okay, so what do we know on this hand? Uh, my partner's probably only got three spades, so West had six and East had three. Uh, my partner also led the five of hearts, which isn't what I was expecting. Uh, they haven't doubled for hearts either. And my, my partner really shouldn't have the ace of hearts. Um, so if I put the king on, I'm just setting up their heart. So I'm just going to duck this first one. Could be 5-4 doubleton. Um, but uh, we'll see what happens from here. Okay, also points wise. Okay, 5-2 double. Yeah, it really looks like a uh, doubleton there. Um, for points... Um, Queen, Jack, Jack, that's four. I had 13, my partner's a past hand. So that's uh, 17, there's 23 missing, like 13 and 10, something like that. Okay, so I think West has six spades and four hearts. I don't think I need all my diamonds. Okay, and they're drawing trumps. Holding on to two hearts, absolutely critical here. I want to score my uh, king of hearts later. Okay, so it was like... I didn't pay enough attention to the spade cards, but uh, West has... My partner won a spade on her, and West has um, ace of hearts, and like ace, uh, king, queen, jack of spades. I don't know what spade on her my partner won. Um, but my partner has the ace of diamonds and a club card. Well, I should have pitched a diamond there, I think. Okay, and another diamond. I must hold on to my hearts. I know that much for sure. And we get there. And let's catch the diamond. Okay. And three spades doubled down one. Uh, pretty tight. Um, main thing here, never covering the heart and also uh, never discarding one. Once you know you're the only person that can hold onto it, you, you have to hold onto it. And I also knew there was just it was never going to get promoted. So here, yeah, like partners, I'm surprised that I'm the only, well, not the only one, someone else defended, but everyone's bidding four diamonds. Um, I want to open a club. Some people got to three known. They did three hearts. Like you've got 13 opposite a uh, past hand. Um, so um, I don't really see any great reason to actually do that like to try three no worked out pretty well um lots of people bidding four diamonds once partner made a penalty double just going for down one seemed like a decent idea um you can make five diamonds on the hand so bidding four diamonds uh can work um but yeah so 
here, look, the whole purpose of playing third hand high is to try and promote something for your side. Um, so when partner leads a low heart, we know West has the ace. I cover the nine. I am not promoting anything. The queen jack are all good. Um, so there's no benefit putting the king on than there is ducking. Whereas by ducking, they had to keep finessing. And also they, if they finesse too early, then um, my partner would get to rough. Okay, uh, here I've got 13 high card points with a five card diamond suit. <laughs> For some reason, just looking at this, I wanted to open this uh, a strong no trump, but um, I'll open a diamond and uh, that's all I want to do. When you're just minimum balanced, uh, you don't really need to uh, keep bidding. So like partner will expect like 12 to 14 balanced. Okay, Domain came down with eight and my partner's leading the king of clubs, which really looks like they've got ace king. Um, they didn't show spades, so they've got at most three spades. They've got maybe three hearts. Uh, I think we want to get our club tricks quickly. My partner might be leading from a three card diamond suit there, um, but I'll play a club over to them. They might play a diamond and then I'll be able to work out what to cash. Uh, that looks like my partner's got led low from three diamonds. So the next diamond's going to get trumped. So let's try the club. Um, I realized that the Royals play high in carriage, I think. So I could have played the uh, nine before. Anyway, my partner really doesn't have much more. So we'll just play a diamond. Um, they're going to get the rest of the tricks, I imagine. Okay. I imagine this isn't a particularly good score. Um, ooh, eighty-two percent. <laughs> How wrong I was. Um, lots of people. Uh, most people defended two hearts um, and two hearts plus one. Carly said, "Glad to know of your urge. I did end up playing three no trumps by doubling two hearts, and I was lucky to make plus one. Uh, so the opponents can take four spades and then." five heart tricks. They could take the first nine tricks. If they don't, but like, let's say like, you're not that unlucky. Like three no is like a reasonable spot. Like if they just lead a heart, um, then you're going to win the king of hearts and get five diamonds and four clubs. I'm kind of surprised that partner never bid anything. I've got like a really awkward hand. Like this is a like real tricky hand to try and bid. Um, such that some people like change their methodology um, to have to be able to cater for this. Like if you bid a no trump, you'd be showing a heart stopper. If you double, you're showing four spades. Um, if you support diamonds, you don't really have that. Two clubs, that'd be a five card suit. There's really no actual way to do to show this hand. So some people actually change um, instead of double being four spades and one spade being five, is just like have. Um, one of those bids saying, I don't have spades. Anyway, uh, got to 82% for holding it to two. Oh, we cashed out uh, in the right order. Okay, so um, if you played three rounds of diamonds, then um, you might not be able to do that. Uh, here, the main thing that helped guide me there was partner played the three diamonds and then the queen. So I know they led low, so West had only two. Okay, 13 count, four, four in the minors again. We've talked about this one. So one diamond and then just one no trump. Two spades here. Uh, partner's got five hearts, four spades and a strong hand. That's three now looks like a sensible spot to play. So. Okay, seven of hearts lead. Not really what I was expecting here. Uh, often that would be a sign that hearts aren't breaking too well. Um, like. 
I wouldn't be leading a four card heart suit from West. I think West is often leading, you know, singleton, top of a doubleton, because they know we don't have a heart fit, so they're gonna find partners length if that's the case. Anyway, we've got three heart winners, two clubs, and a diamond for six. I want to build extra tricks in diamonds and spades, mainly because of my instinct that uh, says that hearts aren't breaking. Um, my spades are a bit flimsy. Um, diamonds would be preferable to start, um, but I sort of want to start it from the north hand. So, um, and I don't want to block hearts. So I'm actually just going to play a spade and duck it. Cool. King one. Okay. Okay. So, uh, what happened there? So I'm still missing queen jack 10 spades, but I've got an extra spade trick. And I like that West is keen to tackle clubs. So I'm just going to lead the 10 of diamonds here. Finesse. If I lose to West, that's fine. Hopefully they'll play a club. Okay. Now the, all the hearts could be winners. I just still really doubt it. Um, I don't think spades are going to be winners either. Like spade and then popping up with the ace is unusual. I didn't see the eight of diamonds. What did I see? I saw the five. So seeing uh, eight, six above my four. You know what? Yeah, let's uh and I'll play another heart just to see what happens. Seven eight, so hearts actually probably are breaking. Jack nine maybe. Okay, I might live to regret my heart discard. Okay, there's the eight. So I got two diamonds. Okay, I can win here. If the hearts are breaking, great news, then um, I get the rest of the tricks. Hmm, there you go. Turns out my one discard probably didn't matter too much. Really, they let the low heart from there. They've, they've got a really awkward hand to lead from, but would have thought they might just lead the ten of clubs or the five of clubs. Um, I clearly don't want to lead a diamond. I've got diamonds. Ace doubles and spade doesn't look great. They just have a really awkward hand to lead from. Okay. Uh, board four, pass, pass, a diamond. And I've got a balance 13, so uh, just pass. Uh, East is sharing a weak no trump. They're trying to play in two diamonds. This is fantastic for me. Got great diamonds here, so happy to pass there. Um, anytime I've got long uh, length here, I like to try and force them to trump in the long hand and then uh, make them lose control. Um, so I like to sort of consider it as no trump. So I'm considering ace of hearts, vaguely considering underleading my heart, and also leading a club. Um, now my partner hasn't bid at all, but they're probably pretty weak. Um, uh, I, my instinct was to go for hearts here, uh, but on second thoughts, I think there's a fair chance East could have some decent hearts. So I'll just try a club, but I think they're all reasonable. Okay, so then we came down with seven points and I have 13, so points are 20, 20 and like, there's 12 to 14, so my partner's six to eight, and I've now seen five of them. I'm tempted to unblock the queen, but I don't think it's gonna to be too relevant. Oh, we'll unblock the queen. I th I'm pretty sure my partner's got the 10. I was like, what about ace jack third or something like that? So we duck this heart. My partner's got, okay, there's all eight of their points. Okay, my partner doesn't have any more. Not a big fan of that diamond play. So 
Sort of makes my ten of diamonds hard to win. Uh, so firstly, I could consider ducking. Consider the ten. The ten would force out the queen. I still have ace jack. Um, could just win the king and play a diamond. Get in with the ace of hearts. Play a diamond. I think I just yeah. All right. I'll get on board with partner and just start drawing trumps. Partner doesn't have any more points, but they might have the ten of clubs. I feel like yeah, I'm I'm gonna be a little bit too slow, but maybe if I can make them rough, I can get a trick. Uh, do I duck this one? I'm just going to try and cut communication a bit between them. Uh, I think they just cross rough if I... Fifty three percent. I wonder if there was anything I could do, like when people did manage it, what about double dummy? So they are down one. So wait, wait. The heart. Okay, club and a heart, they're both fine. Okay, they win and continue. And blocking's fine. I have to win the ace of hearts. I have to hop up with the ace of hearts and maybe go like ace of spades spade just to try and get a spade rough. It wasn't really in the scope of what I was uh, considering there. Well, if that's the case, still happy to get 53%. Um, nice 17 count. I'll still just open a no trump, but I will super accept. So here, three hearts just showed four card support and a maximum. Um, so. And we put caught, can't talk. We caught partner with like the type of hand you'd really want them to have. They've got a seven count where if you don't super accept, they would just transfer and pass. Now, are we making four hearts? We have two heart losers, two diamond losers, but I can trump the second one and a club loser. Club might be able to go on the fourth spade. So we're trumping the second diamond, losing one diamond. We're dumping the club on the fourth spade. And hearts, I want to be 2-2 two, two or singleton honor. I'm missing the nine of hearts. I can't really double finesse the hearts there. So we're just going to win and just go ace of hearts heart. It's potentially the singleton honor. Yep. Okay. Uh, don't need to get rid of that. I can just uh, start getting rid of the spades. So I've untangled the spades now. Um, at this stage, I could play a diamond. I could also play a heart. I don't need to more than that. More trumps. So duck that. Still on entries. Cash there. And we got the rest with the club going on the nine of spades. Didn't even need to trump my diamond in the end because they set it up. 100%. How are other people playing this? I got the spade lead. Crossing back over. Don't really see that, like, if you want to lead low towards the jack, you could do that. But because you're missing the nine of hearts, um, that would be playing each for, like, king, queen, and third heart. So you don't really need to do that because... Uh, if it went low to the jack and then lost to the queen, you couldn't finesse again. Usually when you're just missing king, queen, you do want to double finesse, uh, but we didn't have the appropriate pips. So I'd either need the 10 of hearts in the south hand or the nine of hearts up there. But missing the nine of hearts, you just want to hope that hearts are 2-2, two, two, or if they're 3-1, that there's a single to nonna. Just lay down the ace. Okay. 
Another triple four one. So I've got 13 points, so one diamond. That double here showed hearts, so I'll bid two hearts. Uh, my spades aren't, like I've got a singleton here, so slightly thinking should I bid more? I don't think so. Uh, my spades aren't well placed. Um, I've got a singleton jack, which is hard to evaluate. East is showing some points. This just looks like a part score battle. Okay, and they didn't push onto something like three clubs. And I understand why. That's a very good reason why they didn't. Okay. So we know spades are five, two, most likely. That eight of diamonds looks like top of a doubleton, maybe a singleton, but that would give East six. But why would they be leading top of a doubleton in a suit I've opened? Uh, losers wise, we've got three heart losers, three spade losers of diamond losers. I got a spare discard on a club. I could try and cross rough this hand. Uh, let's see how they follow up here. Okay. So, Ace Jack 10 of spades. I feel like if I went for a cross rough, they would actually instead cross rough on me. So I want to get rid of trumps quickly. I hope they're not 4-1. Didn't think they were going to be 4-1 because of them leading shortages. There's only one top heart left out. Okay, and that was top of a doubleton there. So at this stage, I've got the ace king of clubs. I can trump two clubs. I can throw one away. I'm just going to lose one heart. Um, so I can plus one. So 92%. Take it. It was just drawing trumps that I did. Other people not doing that? Uh, so the other option is, do you go ace of hearts heart or do you start drawing trumps and try and maintain control by playing a low heart? I thought they'd set up to try and cross rough. I needed to get it through as many hearts as quickly as possible, even though it looks risky if hearts are four one that the hand might just fall apart. Getting two rounds of the hearts out so it kills their cross rough seemed much more important than playing a low heart to keep the ace as uh, protection there. Okay, uh, nice 15 count, so one no trump. And we buy it there. Okay, and we've got a good diamond suit. Uh, we've got the four of clubs, which could be from three, could be from four, could be from five. You can check for the cards that are lower and we're only missing the three. So who has the three? Sort of a pretty interesting uh, question. We've got two diamonds, a club, a spade, and a heart for five. I want to try and build tricks in diamonds and maybe see if the uh, king of hearts is on side. No three of clubs there, so starting to look like they're five three. Do the diamonds come in? Nope. Seven of hearts. Um, I'm pretty tempted just to duck one round of it. Yes, the club suit's wide open, uh, They, but if I cash out, I'm still leaving them with more tricks than that. So getting down to just one trick seems useful. I haven't seen the three of clubs. I think clubs are four, four. Yes, they are. I don't think I did good discards from that north hand as such, but it is what it is. I will in there, and unless there's a singleton king of hearts, they're going to get a trick. Nope. 39%. So the king of hearts was on side. Uh, everyone in one no trump only made one. You, uh, like, you could have like double finessed diamonds and like led the jack of diamonds, jack, queen, ace, and led a heart towards the queen. Probably make like nine tricks on this hand on a, yeah, you can make nine tricks on a club lead if you, you knew where all the cards were. Uh, but some people got, they opened one diamond. Wonder why they opened the diamond. 
Park Club. Okay. Um, final hand. So we're on 74.5%. So going well. Pass, pass a spade. So 15 points. So I'll just bid two hearts. And if it went like two spades, pass, pass, I would have followed up with a takeout double. Uh, but here I'll just pass. Expect most people will be doing the same. Four hearts looks pretty normal. We have no club losers. Got three diamond losers, but I can trump two of them. I have a spade loser. I'm missing King Jack third heart. So I want to have a little brief thought about who's more likely to have a void heart. And uh, I think East is probably more likely. West might have done more bidding if they had a void. We got the Jack of Spades, uh, which looks like uh, East has Ace King Queen of Spades. Um, I don't want to duck this. The nine doesn't look like it's away from the king, and. Um, I might suffer a diamond rough in a strange layout. Let's check for a singleton king. Hey, nice. Okay, so um, I'm just roughing those two spades. I'm going to lose the diamond. Uh, we've got all but one. So I finished with 71 on that board and a total of 74%. So uh, this one went really well. There was a whole bunch of just interesting um, sort of play problem hands, uh, but um, a bit surprised about some of the 100% boards, but I think board one just really kicked things off about like, do you actually cover the heart when partner led the five? Whole purpose is to try and promote something for you or your partner. Wasn't gonna happen, don't play. And uh, yeah, thanks all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this weekly free instant tournament and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.